If you guys have been around the gun industry for any length of time or seen any kind of gun related content, you've probably heard that the 380 is just a very weak round overall. Um, something I've certainly heard is that the 380 is completely ineffective in winter time because it'll just bounce off of heavy winter coats. So on today's episode of Things I'll Probably Regret, we're going to go shoot one of my heavy winter coats with the 380 with both full metal jacket and hollow point and see if it bounces off or if it actually goes through. We've got some ballistic gel set up behind it so we'll put it to the test. And for those of you that watched the last video of the less lethal shotgun ammo, walking down here I actually found the home defense rubber slug. It was 15 yards straight back from the gel. So there's that. If you haven't seen that video, go watch it. I'll put a link for it down in the description. But watch this video first. I want to talk to you guys just real quick about the Idaho Rifleman Affiliate Program. Um, there will be a list right here of the sites that I've partnered with so far. But if you go to the description and the pinned comment both, there will be a link to the blog post with clickable links to each of these sites. Um, I really appreciate each and every one of you that have already gone to those sites and made purchases. I'm starting to see it and it's making a difference. I, uh, I don't have any sort of monetization or sponsorships or anything like that for the channel. Everything I do is out of my own pocket. And each and every one of you is feeling it. Everything's just getting more expensive. So I do really appreciate each and every one of you that are supporting the channel in this way. And again, I'm not asking you to buy something specific. It's just if you happen to be going to one of those sites, I just ask you follow my link so I get a small commission off of it. Won't cost you anything extra. But as you've seen the list here, um, these sunglasses. I've had these since 2015. These are the Wiley X Sensor sunglasses. This is the longest pair of sunglasses I've ever owned. Um, all I've had to do is replace the lenses a couple of times. You've seen me use these for shooting in the videos. They are safety rated and do meet ANSI specifications so they're great for going out to the range uh, on a bright sunny day and still having impact protection so products like that alien gear holsters brown L's, midway usa carhartt wrangler lee jeans I wear lee jeans every day the extreme motion line i love them so um, be sure to check that out you guys and thank you again for your support now let's get back to the video for continuity and quality's sake I have Ammo Ink 90 grain jacketed hollow point. And this is 980 feet per second at the muzzle with 192 foot pounds of energy. And then for the full metal jacket, I've got another box of Ammo Ink for that as well. Let's go take a look and see if it made it through the winter jacket or not. There's our hit, and it certainly appears that we made it through the jacket. Yeah, here's our hit into the gel. And it actually appears that we went clean through that gel. If you look at this wound channel right here, it certainly went all the way through. And that was a jacketed hollow point. It looks like it may have opened up a little bit in there based on the wound channel, but I don't know that it actually opened up and expanded the way it was supposed to. Let's take a shot at this without the jacket and see what happens. Let's see how the jacket at hollow point performs in just the gel without the jacket in the way. I'm going to aim it a little higher. We bounced off the table. The first shot I took, we hit the table, bounced up right here. The second shot, we traced down this path right here. Had a pretty good little wound channel at the beginning. Tapered off to almost nothing and then dumped all of its energy right here and there's where that round stopped right almost made it through 16 inches of gel but that is how that jacketed hollow point should perform well we know that if the jacketed hollow point went all the way through and didn't expand 
Full Metal Jacket is certainly going to go through. This is Ammo Ink 100 grain Full Metal Jacket. Muzzle velocity of 890 feet per second with a muzzle energy of 176 foot pounds. All right, hit a little to the left, deviated out the side. We're going to try again. First shot, deviated out the side. Second shot, right through the center. There's our hit. Here's the one that deviated. It only went four inches before it shot out the side. But you can see... It zipped right through. Well, I've already got three holes in my coat, so let's do one more and see with the hollow point if it actually expands or if once again it passes all the way through. Good clean hit right here. There's our entrance. And once again, zipped all the way through. All right, everybody, that's going to wrap up this week's episode of Idaho Rifleman with our ballistic test of will 380 bounce off of a winter coat. The answer, I think, is beyond a shadow of a doubt, no, it will not bounce off. 380, basically it's a 9 mil that skipped leg day. I mean, it's not the most powerful cartridge by any stretch, but it's certainly comparable and certainly performs very well in my experience of testing and shooting and talking to people that have actually used 380 quite a bit. It is an effective caliber, but it comes down to you as the end user. If you are not comfortable carrying 380, then there's nothing wrong with that. It certainly is your choice. If you're more comfortable with 9 mil or 40 or 10 or 45, whatever caliber, Ultimately, what matters is that you will carry it, you will feel comfortable, and you will use it. Um, and for any of the ladies out there, there's really no discernible difference to me between 9 and 380. Mrs. Rifleman has noticed a little bit of a difference, but ultimately, go out, train, and shoot. Uh, get comfortable with your carry weapon, and find some different ranges that you can actually go in and test firearms out before you buy them. We're going to have another For the Ladies video coming out soon where Mrs. Rifleman will give her thoughts on how to pick a handgun, how to pick a carry option for you. Um, we'll have that coming out soon. We'll be able to discuss that a little bit more in depth. But as far as power and capability of a 380, I think today we showed that it's more than capable as a cartridge. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, found it interesting, found it informative. Uh, be sure to give the channel a like, leave a comment on the video here, and check out Idaho Rifleman on Facebook and Instagram. As always, I hope you guys have a fantastic week. Take care, stay safe, and God bless. We'll see you next time here on Idaho Rifleman.